just begin with this story here. Minority petition, petitions shrudge to investigate ongoing secret security recruitment. This story is on uh, citynewsroom.com. I'm going to read portions of it. Uh, we have here, uh, the minority in parliament has petitioned the Commission on Human Rights and Administrative Justice Shraj to investigate the ongoing secret recruitment into various security agencies. Uh, the petition follows report of, an, um, of a planned recruitment of 11,000 personnel from a backlog of applicants over the years. Now, a minority caucus recently raised concerns about the recruitment exercise, labeling it as secretive and unfair to the larger Ghanaian public. Now, they also accused members of the new patriotic party, including parliamentary candidates, of facilitating the recruitment of their loyalists into the security services. Now, in a petition um, to Shiraj dated July 16th, the minority reiterated its commitment to vigilance, emphasizing that it will employ every legitimate means to stop the secret, illegal, and unfair recruitment. Now, the minority in parliament has petitioned Shiraj, um, and I, it's a quote here, uh, that's a the Commission on Human Rights and Administrative Justice to investigate the ongoing secret, unequal and unfair recruitment by the Akufuado Baumia MPP government into the Ghana Immigration Service, the Ghana National Fire Service, the Ghana Police Service, the Ghana Prison Service, and the Narcotics Control Commission. All right, let me just stop right here. And um, before you weigh into the the conversation here. Let me introduce my other guest here. He's joined us on the set. Mr. Samuel Atamensa, he is the host of Footprints on right here on Channel One TV. Samuel, good morning. Morning. How are you? Very well, thank yeah. you. So I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. You look fresh. Well, yeah. Well, I want to be like yeah. you. Yeah. So, what, happened, uh, <laughs> what happened over the weekend? <laughs> Um, I was all over the place, man. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was in the eastern region. That's okay. what happened. Oh, okay. Yeah. Doing what? OCM. I went to support my um, a friend of mine's um, funeral. So oh, oh. I was in OCM to oh, be specific. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. And then later in a Kropon, your, okay. your, your area. Yeah. 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 So. Uh, that's how I've accounted for my time yeah. by the grace of God. You got yeah. some fresh air. <laughs> the weather is nice though. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have to be going there. No, as for weather, eh, yeah. it can be nice depending on your pocket. It can be very nice depending on your pocket. Anyway, it's really good to have you here. Yes, sir. We're going to get into the conversations that we're talking about the security service recruitment. And time and again, you know, it keeps coming up um, that some kind of secret um, enlistment is going on. The public ones we see, usually you see long queues at Elwak and so on and so forth. We are yeah. used to seeing those ones. Then, um, Larry, I don't know what you make of this. Where is this secret thing coming from? Uh, I don't know, but mm -hmm. it's, it shows the extent to which the recruitment into the security services, you know, have been politicized, okay? Very often, I recall about... Uh, I think under the NDC, mm. there were instances where you hear that oh, uh, people were being sent to to um, what we call it the various training centers, particularly mm. with the army, okay. and that people were being taken there. And what you hear is that oh, there's a backlog being cleared. There's a backlog being cleared. Mm. I've heard that for immigration service as well. Mm. I heard that also for the police service yeah. years past, mm. and. I mean, the explanation has always been, as I said, a backlog being cleared. Okay, so it happened under NDC, and at the time, MPP complained. And today, and then MPP told that, oh, you know something, it wasn't good enough. Why would you be doing a thing mm -hmm. like that? And then today, we are having it under MPP, and it's the same thing, except that the NDC has moved further to say that it's a petitioning shrug to look into the matter. Yeah. 
I don't know what we are going to get out of that. So what, whether Shivaj is going to stop it. Yeah. Or, I mean, hey, if you know that you... Is it potentially an exercise in futility or is something that we yeah, just I need want, to go I'm, through the I'm, paces? I'm not, I don't know what we are expecting mm. that Shivaj is going to, to, to say that, listen, don't do this. But when you read the, the petition, sorry, the, yeah, portions of the petition that has been published mm -hmm. on your website, mm -hmm. you hear that they talked about uh, an advertisement being made yeah. and that the selection should be free and fair. And that, uh, yeah, you have, you have, you have, it's not in this particular one. Okay, yeah, I'm sure, I'm that sure should be free. I mean, they should advertise it, they mm -hmm. should be fair, it shouldn't be selective and so on. And that, it's been limited to MPP parliamentary candidates mm. okay. who have been told to bring in people for, for recruitment. About a week ago, I had a call. and Let me read this portion here. It says here, <clears throat> and it's a quote, we pray for the following remedies yeah. or reliefs after the commission's investigation into this complaint. Number one, as a means of ensuring equal access to all hmm. the security services and other administrative organs of the state, including the respondent, that is um, the Ghana Immigration Service, Ghana National Fire Service, the Ghana Police Service, the prisons, and NACOC. Um, and indeed, the Customs, Excise, and Preventive Services, SEPS, SHRA should direct that recruitment into these public services should be effected through public advertisement in the national newspapers as the dailies setting out eligibility uh, criteria for potential applicants and candidates uh, for such recruitment. This is what it says here. Yeah. So they are demanding that at least these are the reliefs that they are seeking. Sure, exactly. Yeah. I recall that years ago, adverts <laughs> or advertisements will be put in the dailies, mm. Daily Graphic and then Ghanaian Times. Mm and that people who are interested should apply. Yeah. They even direct you to the various post offices, particularly cantonment, mm -hmm. where you could go and buy, buy the forms, yeah, the forms yeah. and then uh, apply. But these days, you don't hear of those things anymore. Rather, you are directed to buy a, v a voucher somewhere else, and then uh, <laughs> sometimes some of those vouchers mm -hmm. don't even, even work. Mm -hmm. But by the time you notice, mm -hmm. people are on their way to go for some yeah, kind yeah, of to go for, 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 for some kind mm -hmm. of recruitment. Now, uh, it's years ago, you could have people turn up at their work and then other places where they are going through body selection, mm. okay? Mm. After the body selection, they are taken to medicals, okay? And then I think there, there's an examination prior to that, an aptitude test, if that is. And so that selection process is highly competitive. But if what we are doing, advertisements are not run, however, people are constantly on their way yeah. to uh, work f for training, it leaves much to be desired. Now, why would you have a backlog? At the time you were recruiting them, you demanded them to be of a certain age, yeah. and then they came. You demanded them to have a certain medical record, mm. and they had gone through that. Mm. Mm. Now, between, let's say, two months ago, okay, till now, your medical condition could change. It can, yeah. Your age could also go up. Mm. Unless, of course, after you've gone through all that, everything is supposed to be held constant. Yeah. Uh, okay, I see what you mean. So there shouldn't be anything like a backlog. No, for based me. Based on even medical science Medical, alone, exactly. There shouldn't be anything like a backlog. Or at least the backlog must go through another must go, yes. process of medical testing. In any case, we don't have that. just even one recruitment, sorry, training center. There are various training centers. Mm -hmm. If Air Force, Air Force says they needed, let's say, 80 men, Army, mm -hmm. 100, mm -hmm. uh, Navy, mm -hmm. let's say 200, mm -hmm. you have... I mean, training centers for all these people. So you're not supposed to have any, let's say, backlog that you every now and then have to come out and say that, oh, there's a backlog and that these people who are there belong to set A or mm -hmm. set B mm -hmm. or set 
you know, see. Mm. When you do that, I mean, people, there will be concerns of this nature. Yeah. But that, I mean, not to, to, add, to, uh, to add something to that, is where I had a document from the Ghana Police Service. I, I would like just have a look. Which, uh, okay. added, this came out to show that indeed there was a certain recruitment going on. Okay. And it was released, it was, I mean, uh, brought out because then the government had come out to say, that, oh, there's, there's nothing of a sort yeah. happening. However, there's a police document showing that officers have been detailed to be at Tessano and some other places mm -hmm. to ensure that the processes that is ongoing, the recruitment exercise that is going on, it's, you know, it's smooth. smooth. Now, who is lying to who? And these are not just officers. You have their telephone numbers even attached to their names, mm -hmm. their ranks and mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. And you could see that it's an official document signed by a superintendent of police, a chief superintendent of police. Who are we lying to? If these are also Ghanaians, allow them to go through the process. And but I'm, I'm saying that the medical process yeah. would even exclude some people mm. because you could discover that your leg is crooked mm. or your head is not properly, you know, uh, fixed on. You are deformed a bit. Your, uh, I mean, so many other things. Yeah. Your height, you wouldn't meet it and so on. So, but when you allow people to go through that process, we ensure that whatever security services that we are talking about it's of a certain caliber mm. it is not selective when they are approaching issues they are not approaching it based on the fact that it is you mm. Kweku, who got you know me into the police service yeah or but then i went through the process and then i met all the you know requirements of it i think we should be we should have a look at this thing more and more right so yes, the a, a backlog suggests that and, and, and there was uh, this um, um, Honorable Habib Idrisu making a comment um, that um, there's a backlog and there's no secret recruitment. My question, my challenge with the concept of a backlog means that you have a waiting list that you haven't exhausted. You That's see? your concept. Yes. So <laughs> because you see, if people are going for recruitment, you, you, you hire the ones you want mm -hmm. and the rest you let go. Mm -hmm. How are you keeping people or, or maybe yeah, no, just understand. calm down. Just okay. calm down because <laughs> your premise is even wrong. Okay, so what's the backlog? Where no, I don't know for a fact mm. because I don't work in their, mm. their, their space. Mm. What I'm saying is that if I say there's a backlog, yes. it doesn't mean I have a list. It means I have a need, an established need okay. that requires a certain number mm. of human resources. Okay, Maybe for um, resource constraints, mm. I choose not to exhaust the if like the the the, the number mm. that i'm supposed to recruit okay you understand okay. that gives you a backlog that's okay. all the fact that you if for instance you have you have defined mm. the, the 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 task mm -hmm. and the task requires that you employ 1000 people yeah but you don't have the resources to employ 1000 people mm -hmm. if you employ 200 people mm -hmm. you have <coughs> a an existing of backlog yes, of 800. 800 to fill it doesn't mean that mm -hmm. you have a list mm -hmm. you understand and that that backlog of 800 does not eliminate the need for people to be employed yes you get me i agree because if you employ them you do not have clearance from the finance ministry mm -hmm. to pay them mm -hmm. you it may be for different reasons that's the point i'm making mm -hmm. but in this particular case i don't know what would cause mm -hmm. the, the backlog but i'm only saying that it is possible mm -hmm. that they, they were and they have said that 2020 2021 and 2022 mm -hmm. they did not exhaust the need for which reason they have estimated it to be in the in the region of eleven thousand. Yeah. Also, let's not forget that the scope of operations for mm. the police itself has expanded. Yes. And that's why the police have said they will need more mm. hands. Yes. Not forgetting that it is an election year as mm. well. Mm. You, you understand? Yeah. So it's a lot of things mm. coming into the fray. Okay. I can understand why the minority will, will be will, will be worried because. Mm. We've always known that once you are in government, mm. you have an upper hand in determining who gets into the security services. Yeah. It's, it's an open it's secret. Yeah. So they will be worried because 
if there's 11,000 vacancies, mm. then if they don't shout it loud, mm. the MPP will end up putting their own people there. That's, mm. that's, that's the that's whole, that's the yeah. whole yeah. thing. Mm. So they are saying that, no, mm. if yeah. there's 11,000, let's do chimpe. Yeah. But the bigger question Which, is, mm. what should members of parliament have to do with recruitment of people into our security services? Mm. Really, what's the point? Mm. Why should it be a, a space for the involvement of members of parliament? Because it's been seen as an avenue for employment. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So if you're around, you don't have a job, you know a member of parliament, he can push you. Didn't you know this? Mm -hmm. Who doesn't know this? Mm. We all know. Yeah. So this is what they are fighting for. Mm. And it's a legitimate cause. I'm happy that they have chosen to take the, the to charge, uh, mm. approach because okay. administrative injustice, injustice yeah. should be corrected mm. if they so uh, think it's injustice, mm. you know. But granted, the interior minister has said that mm. they have not commenced the processes for the recruitment. Okay. They only announced that they would have to recruit 11,000. Mm. That's just he. The announcement came yeah. from the interior ministry. Yeah. Yeah. You understand? Mm. And frankly, the interior ministry by itself as a body does not do recruitment. Mm -hmm. It's the various agencies. agencies. Yeah. Now, Larry was talking about uh, the issue of advertising, mm. you know, openly advertising, mm. which is fair. Mm. But you advertise and what, in Ghana, the fact that you advertise doesn't mean anything. It is required mm. you have advertised, mm. okay? How about most of them actually advertise this on their websites, but people don't go to their websites. Okay. You understand? Okay. But are we saying that once it's advertised, the Kululu will not go on? It will go on. It, it will. And they do and advertise. <laughs> no, they do advertise. Okay. Only we don't see. In the dailies? Yes. Okay. They normally will advertise in Ghanaian times, especially. Okay. okay. I don't know whether it's to hide that thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? So they do advertise, but it does not. It has not eradicated the, the whole thing of uh, uh, pushing in politicians, pushing in, their, their you know. People. But I, again, what baffles me is politicians in out push their own people into the security services. Now, when the security services are called to the task and they fail to deliver, mm. the same politicians blame With them. The, what yeah. were you thinking? Mm. What, what were you thinking? Yeah. You take your nephew, your nieces, your party people, dump them in police, military, so and so and so and so, and then when they are called to the task, they are not able to deliver, and you wonder, mm. it is your own doing. So we should read this process of politicians and make it open. Like you want to work in a bank, you want yeah. to work, in, you know, this is how it's supposed to be. Mm. Or we should minimal, we should make, just minimalize it. That's yeah. all. But uh, unfortunately, even when you leave it to, let's say, the various offi officers or officials to do the recruitment, you also go back to that same, you know, thing of recruit <laughs> putting in their nieces, their nephews, and even their children. Yeah. You go to Ghana Armed Forces and you have, I mean, senior officers having their yeah. sons and daughters serving under them. And it cuts across fire service, almost all the security agencies, so, everywhere. So, so what I'm saying is that it's, it's not a new thing. Mm, yeah. And for me, Larry, I do not have a problem if, Larry, you are the military general and your son is a captain, so long as your son was also given a fair yeah. opportunity mm. like any other person. Yeah. You understand? Look, if I go to some of our major broadcast houses, in fact, the state broadcasters, you see generations of family of members, family members yeah. who have worked, you know, in some of these places. Mm. Go to Graphic, go to GBC. Generations, you understand? But the problem is, if you, if you are now going to uh, skew. skew the thing mm. to favor your family, <clears throat> you understand? Yeah. But the fact that your father or your grandfather is army general should not disqualify you. No, it shouldn't. You understand? Yeah. But give everybody mm. a fair mm. chance. Mm. Yeah. A fair chance. Yeah. That's all we're asking yeah. for. Mm. And eleven thousand, advertise it. Let everybody see the criteria, so that when they have been recruited, we can all sit and say, okay, based on the criteria okay. you published, yeah. this we is what we see. see. This, yeah. Remember, um, last year or somewhere about 
there was a publication of an old woman. Be, yeah, I did, who, I, did, I did that. I did something. Did that, story. <laughs> yeah. but the woman, the, apparently, the picture <laughs> crap was wrong. The, it happened to be the picture of a woman in a juice. And the woman was cursing. So we are the one who was cursing. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> so so I, actually, there were two pictures. Okay. One with her, oh, sorry, one with a woman who, yeah. who was dressing uh, party colors. Yeah. And then and there, was a, there was the a look alike. Yeah, right? the, the, yeah, there was yeah. just a look alike. <laughs> then there was a military officer mm -hmm. who had gone through training. But you know, we just didn't have the one where she was in military uniform. Mm -hmm. But when she was on her way, to training or for the training and she was in this multi and all that and so but the woman said that i've yeah. never even been to the bema camp for no crime in kobe well and you're not nae ka and you're not your uniform no nae ka so so i'm just saying that yeah. you see then you can take the picture yeah. take the criteria yeah. and yeah. then say well have a comparison and yeah, yeah and, and strangely summoned the army or the ghana Armed forces refused to talk about it uh-huh they refused to talk about it. i know colleague media people who called the PRO, what's his name? I mean, he flatly, I mean, uh, uh, refused to talk to them. Yeah, but and it's explain. A, I'm coming. Yeah. It's okay for the army to say, I won't talk to you. Why? No, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. Uh, but isn't, isn't there a way you can take it a step further by compelling them to disclose? Oh, who? Uh, but I mean, <laughs> no, you can't. You can't use the the, the uh, uh, information. Uh, uh, the right to information. The right to information. information. Right you information. can't use it yeah. because it's a public interest. It's public interest. Even in no, uh, no. Uh, at the office of the president, he decided no, no, no. I'm just saying that. But do we have instances where people have used right information yes, to secure information? Yeah, sure. They have. Yeah, I'm just yeah. saying that this is nothing. We have a story that somebody who is not qualified, yeah. has been recruited into the army of the Republic of Ghana. Yeah. You know, the fact that you wear an army uniform doesn't make the army your personal property. Yeah. Well, it does not. So yeah. if you are a military man, you are wearing uniform, I think it's for you. Wait, 10, 15 years down the line, you'll be with me on the street. We'll mm. see who owns the army. Yeah. So I'm just saying true. that if you are there today, be transparent. Mm. The people who say this has happened. It hasn't happened. You choose not to say. Use their freedom of information mm. and compel them to disclose. Mm. You understand? If they disclose and it's not the case, it's in the interest of the public. Mm. If it is the case, it is in the interest of the public. Either way. But to say that, I won't tell you anything, it's arrogance. Mm. So yeah, they have always been arrogant. No, if to that. say I won't say anything, and it's coming from also. Ghana Army, that I expect. Better, better from yeah. Ghana Army. I'm yeah. telling you. Oh, they were behind the scenes calling me names, brother. But uh, the which, which name again? Uh, the, the <laughs> PR. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, the bit about the backlog. Yeah. Ordinarily, I mean, if you had, let's say, a slot for a thousand people, mm. and for resource constraints, you mm. could only do, no. uh, let's say, 500. Mm. You should be able to say that, okay, you are doing 500 mm. now. Now, when Who's the this? other, when, you have to fill in the other space you Who's do this? another exercise and mm. then make you know make sure that you tell us that you are doing this because of the backlog mm. that you needed to clear mm. but the impression giving someone is that oh we recruited we had a slot for thousand people and we recruited that thousand however we divided them into you know 200, 200, 200, and that the first 200 had gone, yeah. and the second 200 will be going this time. <laughs> then the other 200 will be going until the thousand is cleared. No, that's not it. No, that is the impression they're giving. No, 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 that's not because we. I read it. They say that they are going to process. They are going to start the recruitment process. They did not say that they've recruited. I saw that one from the Ministry of Interior. Yes, they said they are going to start the recruitment process. Mm. You understand? Yeah. And the recruitment process starts with an announcement. So I've been in this place for quite some time. Yeah. I just joined. <laughs> <laughs> you well, mean the investigative space? Oh, yeah. well, no, the, you mean the investigative oh, space? No, I, oh, well, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, like, I'm only saying that yeah. if you know for a yeah. fact, that's, yeah. that's yeah. okay. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. I'm only reading yeah. the... I mean, it's not everything that I can... You. I can't say no, here. but then listen, the, the viewers they deserve to know. Because, I'm only no, look, whatever yeah. I'm saying is based on the the, the press release yeah. and the document yeah. I have seen. Yeah. 
yeah. which said that they they are they are announcing that they will be recruiting up to eleven thousand. Yeah. yeah, that's all I know. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. But if you know something else, Charlie, we deserve to know. Oh well, there are instances we where we deserve to know. Oh yeah, there are instances <laughs> where I've had calls mm -hmm. from friends who said that oh, they've gone through the process, they've done the medicals, they've done body selection and everything, even done the aptitude test. However, a badge is gone and that they are waiting. They feel that a set, somebody is trying to just, you know, take them off the, the but that's a feeling. and that I could, if I could put in a word. What? So a lot of the time... But have you wondered why they called you uh, to put in a word? Do you, have you wondered? No, I haven't. Yeah, you should ask yourself, but are you a military person? Are you a police no, person? They, no. Why are you calling me? Yeah. I mean, years ago, maybe like six, seven, eight years ago, my own niece was fighting me because she said that um, um, I'm not people. helping her yeah. to go yeah. into the army. Yeah. Yeah. You understand? This is after, almost 10 years ago. Okay. And I said, that, but I don't know what to do. Mm. I'm not an army person. Just go apply. She applied. They bounced there. I found a job for her in one of the banks. She said she doesn't like it. She just wants to go to the army. Mm. And I said that with this resolve, mm. if you show up at the interview, you'll be taken. Mm. She did not take the job at the bank. Waited the following year, applied again. As I speak now, she is almost a major. Wow. Without my help. Okay. Without my help. Mm. I'm just saying that if the person goes for the interview, they misconduct themselves. You and I won't know. Oh, no, that's true. But yes, people do kululu. But the fact that I didn't get it doesn't mean somebody it was has some uh, untoward something going on. Yeah. No, no, it yeah. doesn't work mm. like that. Mm. But they can also help us by making it as transparent as possible. Yeah. You know, this thing of making people buy forms. Buy forms? Yeah. In US, want UK, they don't buy forms. You want to buy forms. What happened to online? Yeah. Let everybody go online and yeah. apply. You want yeah. to go to army, you want to go to police. No, but they use it to raise money. No, you cannot use that to raise they money. They are using it to raise money. No, what I'm saying yeah. is that that should be stopped. Yeah. That should be stopped. I, I need a job. All I have to do is to show myself, present myself for an interview. Why should I have to purchase a form? Mm. For what? Internally generated funds. I mean, I mean that's unfair. Yes, all kinds that's of unfair. Things. No, let's, let's reduce it to an online processing. Mm. So people will go online, apply online, process it. You know, because why? Why? Because the fact that I purchased the form does not uh, give me any assurance that you're going to yeah. that I will yeah. be successful. Yeah. Yes. So what has just happened? I've lost my, my money. The money mm. that I don't have, that I'm trying to, to look get, for a job yeah. to have. You know, it's like my pet peeve that I've had over generations the with the visas. Yeah. You know, <laughs> they will charge you the money. Yeah. And then bounce you nicely. Successfully, they will bounce you. Yeah. And they've taken your money too. Yeah. 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 Then they'll tell you that they didn't force you to come and, <laughs> come and pay their money. The, the investors. The the yeah, the investors are doing the same. Admission the forms. forms. Well, I think they, should just, they should just... They should, yeah. well, that's a different that's space. A different but space. but yeah, even with that, something can be done about mm. it. Mm. The investors, something can be done about it. But I'm looking at the security services. Yeah. Meaning that if you don't, if you cannot afford, you and I have dealt with students who, after SS, are sitting at home, and the only reason mm. is that they could not afford to pay for the university uh, uh, application okay, form. Yeah. 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 True. University application yeah, true. form. Yeah. How much is that? True. Yeah. true. So because of that, I have dealt with I have had three students, mm. three, one in Kivas, one in UPSA, one at UHAS, mm. at different stages. They all were sitting at home hmm. because they could not afford the forms. The forms. And how much of the forms at the time? I don't even know. So it means that if you introduce this thing, somebody who could be your star general one day mm. would be denied, denied because yeah. they cannot afford it. They are denied all the time. Yeah. Yeah.